Hi, this is Mike here from Mike'sComputerTips.com. Uh, I've downloaded the top three um, iPod video converter software out there at the moment, and I'm just going to run through them with you and show you some of the good things about them, some of the bad things, and which one I like the best. So the first one I'm going to start with AVEX iPod video converter. Now this this one is good. When you load it up, it's not completely obvious what to do. When you want to choose a video to uh, convert, you've, this is the, the button here, choose video. So when you select that, the one thing I don't like about this is you can only open one file at a time. If you want to, if you want to do multiple files, you have to click this batch convert video files, and that'll actually open up another application, uh, which will, which then you can select multiple files. So that's one downside of this one. Um, it's got with the profiles, you know, it's got some standard profiles here, and they're they're easily named, which is one good thing about it. Um, and then you can set your output folder. And this one, this, I mean, it's fairly quick. This one, but the second one is a fair bit quicker. This is called QQ Soft. Now with this one, um, again, the interface isn't isn't as good as the last one I'm going to show you, but this does a bit better job of converting. So when you want to um, open a file, you click this uh, open, and this will show you the files you want. So I've, I'll select these ones. So you can select multiple um, video files with this at once. Um, then you can display, you can preview your video file here. Uh, then you've got different profiles. Now these are a bit more advanced than the last one. Uh, you've got H.264. Uh, and you've got other little uh, sizes that you can make for it. And then you've got your output as well. When you're finished, you just click Convert, uh, and you can specify these um, in order of preference. But it will do um, AVIs, .MOVs, .WMVs, it'll do FLVs. It does quite a lot of video, uh, for file formats. Now the last software, this is my favorite. This one's called Amosoft iPod Video Converter. Now these are all the demo applications I've down here, uh, downloaded here to my test machine. Uh, but this one I think is a lot more user friendly. It's a lot easier to see what you're doing. Uh, so the first thing, it even, it even tells you on the getting started guide here, you just click add to find your videos. So they come up there, you, you can select more than one at a time. And the video formats that it supports is pretty much everything, AVIs, MPEGs, even 3GP files. You've got Windows Media and FLV and .MOV as well. So that once you select those, you just click Open. And then they'll load into your little uh, list here. You can even preview them in the, in the side pane here. demo to show you how to use iPod video converter software. So that does that. Now you can move these up and down as well. Um, and now your profiles, you've got a lot more choice here, which is one thing I like about this program. Um, so you can specify different sizes, different qualities uh, for different versions of the iPod. Um, so for a standard, I'll just, I'll just pick that one. You can specify your output um, file path. Uh, you've got settings here, so you can customize this even further with frame rates, bit rates. I'll leave that for now. One other thing I like about this one is it gives you a few um, um, features as far as trim, crop, and effect. Now, these are pretty this obvious, video demo. and they're easy to use. So you just drag this one here to trim this, uh, trim the time of the video. Uh, crop is, is similar. It's pretty easy to use again. This you can just... Just drag the corners in to change that. Uh, it's also got effects, which is, I mean, you might want to use this sometimes, you might not. Uh, you can change the brightness if you've got a dark movie. That's one thing that could be good. Um, and then you've got some effects here, um, like negative, emboss. I mean, you may not want to use these. It's just really for mucking around with. Uh, but one thing which is good about this software is it has an iPod copy manager. I haven't got my iPod attached, but here you can see what files are on your iPod and you can easily transfer them from this software to your iPod. So that's one thing that's really good about this one. And once you've finished that, you just click uh, Start. 
and i am just got all the demos at the moment and I've already done this so I'll just click yes to all and then you can also open the output folder after conversion so that's finished and that took about 30 seconds to convert those three files I'll just close that and then that's done so if you want to check out this program go to www.bestipodconverter.com that's B E S T I P O D C O N B E R T E R dot com. And there you can download the trial of this or, or get the full version. Thanks.